Hi there, welcome to my video on how to connect your Thinkific site in segment to Google Analytics. Now, uh, before I kind of go into the details of how you do it, I'm going to caution you that this video might be a bit more technical than usual, uh, but if you bear with me, I promise you uh, it will be worth it. Uh, there's a lot of great insights that you can glean uh, from Google Analytics uh, about your Thinkific landing page that can help you uh, improve the user experience, uh, get more conversions, and also use this if you want to place uh, ads in Google for uh, sales of your course. So uh, before uh, we even go any further, I want to remind everyone that this video is more a little bit more advanced uh, than the other video. So uh, please check out um, at the end the uh, segment video, uh, which kind of covers the basics of how you kind of connect your Think of Excite and why it's important to take advantage of this integration with Segment because uh, it is free and it will really give you a lot of powerful insights about uh, how your landing page is converting, how much time your customers are spending on the site, um, how they're interacting with your site, and just really good high level uh, information that you can use to improve uh, the direction of your business. Uh, so. Uh, please watch that video uh, because uh, that's kind of like a foundation before we can even uh, do this. But if you have watched it uh, and you are on board with Segment and uh, everything is working, let's show you how to connect it into Google Analytics. Uh, so uh, remember, in order for this video to be helpful, you'll want to have set up a Segment account and also set up your Google Analytics account. And these are both free uh, to start with. Uh, you can definitely um, add and pay more for the features later, but uh, the free um, plan in both is good enough to begin with. So uh, let's get started. If you are in uh, Google Analytics, uh, your dashboard will look a little bit different than mine's um, because I've already been playing with this and testing out uh, this tutorial many times before I've recorded it. So it's going to look a little bit different, but the main kind of thing you want to do when you're in Google Analytics is go into admin. And then in your admin view, you'll see an account, you'll see property, and you'll see view. I'm not going to go into the details of all this because that's kind of a long-winded tangent. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just show you what you need to get set up. You'll want to click on create property. And let's give your property name and says uh, Thinkific, um, Thinkific project or something. Doesn't matter, just give it a name. And then you don't have to uh, worry about these details. Like I say, if you, it's just for Google to sort of know what you plan to do with all this. And so, like I said, I am just gonna leave it the way it is right now, just cause I'm demoing this. And then I'm going to click on Show Advanced Options. Now, here is a bit um, tricky. Uh, you'll see they give you an option to create a universal analytics property. And the idea is you want to definitely click on this so that the toggle button is on. And remember that this, uh, I won't go into too many details, except that this uh, really just measures uh, the traffic and views on your website uh, for people who are on desktop. Now it doesn't really uh, track uh, if they are on your landing page from a mobile site. Um, that is a little bit more advanced. And so I'm just going to focus for the purposes of this video, uh, the universal analytics property, which covers um, people landing on your landing page uh, who are on a desktop computer, a desktop laptop. It's just the idea is they're not using a tablet or a mobile phone. So. Uh, as I've said before, uh, you'll want to put in the website here. So I'm going to put my uh, Thinkific landing page, engineering. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to put in, uh, so I'm going to put in my Thinkific landing page, but you can put in uh, whatever the URL for yours is. And like if you, let's say, have a domain later on, uh, you ported this over to a domain that says engineeringcreatively.com. You can just get rid of the thinkific.com. But basically, you just want to copy the URL and put it here. 
Now, Google will ask you, do you want to create a Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property? Now, this is, if you, this is kind of, I'm not going to be too technical, but this is just if you want to track both um, the desktop and mobile. But for the purposes of this video, I'm only going to do the uh, Universal Analytics property only because if you wanted to do this option here, it's going to require a little bit more customization um, and the help with a, a developer. And so uh, that's kind of way advanced and we're just gonna focus on what is kind of easy for most people to uh, set up and get started. So you want to create this universal analytics property only and then click next. And then they're just gonna ask you some information. You can just kind of fill it out. Um, you know, it's just for Google to sort of understand how people are using their product. And then once you, uh, you're satisfied with how this looks, then you want to click on create. So now that this is created, you'll see that all these IDs start with UA. And that basically means that's universal analytics and it tracks um, website uh, traffic and visits and interactions uh, and where people are coming from, but specifically on desktop. If, like I said, if you wanted to track both desktop and mobile, uh, it would require um, advanced uh, customization with a developer. So now that you have this tracking ID, what you're gonna wanna do is copy it. And then there's the two things that you wanna do is then go into your Thinkific site, go under market and sell, and then click on integrations and then click on analytics. And then this is where you would paste your analytics key. Now, um, once that's done, you're gonna click save. Uh, then uh, once this is saved, then you just want to double check that everything looks okay again, just to make sure you copy the right ID. And this is really, really key. I cannot emphasize this enough that uh, you must copy the right key. Um, I've demoed this for myself many times and copy the wrong key and the data doesn't show up. Um, but you won't have that problem if you only just kind of do this in one shot. So once you check that this ID matches uh, what you've just created in Google Analytics, then the next step you wanna do is go into segment. And in segment, you'll want to, if you haven't already, click on sources. And so you'll see that there are two sources um, that I've set up right now, but I've really just only enabled uh, Thinkific right now. And uh, I can add up to three destinations. Um, basically, I can send the data from Thinkific into three different um, destinations. And I've chosen Google Analytics, HubSpot, and then I have a, I disabled the mix panel because that's a separate topic. Um, but let's just focus on the Google Analytics because we really want to, for this purposes, track how um, our visitors, where our visitors are coming from and how they're interacting. So click, click on Google Analytics and make sure that this uh, Google Analytics uh, settings is toggled on because if not, then it'll ask you if you want to deactivate it. So that's just a quick kind of tip. Um, and then it will ask you for all this connection settings, reporting, we're not gonna worry about that. We're just going to focus on the website tracking ID. And so this is where I could take what I've just pasted from my Thinkific site into here and then click save. And then if you want to make sure that this is working properly, I would suggest opening up a, another window or tab. And then um, what you can do is uh, I'll show you here. I can open another tab and type in my website. Uh, I'll just put in my Thinkific site, but I'm logged into my um, portal, so it's not really much going on. This is kind of all demo. And then um, I really recommend, though, uh, in order for this to really uh, track, is that you want to open it in another window, uh, new window, new browser, preferably like I'm on Google Chrome right now, but if you do this on Safari, uh, then it would be really um, uh, more effective because then this is um, my portal account, so I'm already logged in, so it's not really going to work. But if you open and copy the same link into Safari, and then just kind of play with it a little bit and just kind of get some data, then what's gonna happen is that you're going to see um, uh, in your dashboard the kind of 
uh, interactions that are happening. So uh, I played with this and made some data to show you. And so I typed in my website and then here are some data. And the reason uh, why this is useful is because then you can kind of see, uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of data, but you can see like, okay, there was two people. I, you know, logged in, I typed in my site twice and then this is what's happening and this is how long I'm spending on the site. Um, you can see, you know, how is this going to track into revenue and conversions. And so there's just a lot of really high level and really useful insights that you can glean if you want to run ads or if you want to really improve the conversions on your landing page. And the nice thing is it really kind of gives you this, if you want to then run Google ads under acquisition, it can you can kind of run multiple campaigns and just um, really take the data and really go and do more with it besides just improving uh, user experience and you know getting more customers, you can run ads. Um, what I like to look at is just the channels part in terms of traffic, because this kind of tells me, okay, so right now it's not super interesting because uh, people have typed in, I've typed in my own website. So it's saying that the traffic source is direct. Now, the mo more effective thing would be if you um, have people who are linking to your site from their blog or from social media, then this will kind of give you a lot more interesting data. But for the purposes of this demo, I've just kind of, you know, made some, you know, simple kind of demos of me interacting with my own site to kind of show you um, how powerful Google Analytics is. So uh, the other important thing would be like if you are selling products, then the e-commerce can then tell you um, how this uh, interaction is converting into sales, whether there are sales or not. So I hope this video is helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, and thanks for your patience and I hope uh, you enjoy the video. Thank you.